how can I cure loneliness? How can I cure loneliness? There's only one way that I know, and that's to savor solitude. When you begin to savor solitude, meaning spending quality time with yourself, letting yourself become more contemplative, become more interested in watching your breath as it breathes through your body to see how it affects your cells and your organs and your systems, to be able to notice that there's so much more going on in every moment than when we just kind of focus on typical little things, that there's always this expansiveness behind everything. And when you start to begin to watch for what's happening in the invisible, and to pay attention to what's happening in the invisible, you're noticing that that's where all the action is. So being busily engaged in life with other people can feel very satisfying and full for many people, but it can also feel a little empty. And that's because we're focusing on the things, the, the stuff and the people. When you begin to realize that you can savor solitude, this is one of the steps to get you there. Just notice the room that you're in right now, the space that you're in right now, and recognize what's the most important thing. If you're used to being in a place where you say that you're lonely if you're alone, then you might immediately focus on all the things, the stuff, what you can do or what you can occupy your time with or what you can touch and feel and taste and sense with your five senses. But if you're used to savoring solitude, then you're used to noticing that the most important thing in the room is the space. The thing that affords you to have quality relationships with things is the space. Without the space, the room would collapse. Without the space within you, your body would collapse, be dust. Without space and relationship, we don't get a chance sometimes to savor the relationships when they're always engaged and active, that space away where you can wish beautiful things for people in your lives. There's a practice of metta in Buddhism. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be at ease. May you know you are loved. May you know you are loved. That's loving kindness, metta. It's a way of extending grace to the world around you, even when you're alone. When you get to savor this solitude and spend quality time alone with yourself, begin to know yourself, it's really truly what we came here to do and to be primarily primo was to spend this quality time with yourself to savor solitude so that you can go out in the world and truly pick and choose what you want to engage with, what feels like it complements the time you spend alone. So how do you cure loneliness? By noticing that being alone does not necessarily mean loneliness. It means allowing yourself to be engaged with your own life, savoring solitude and watching what arises from within you. Often it'll be creative expression and all kinds of things that you really kind of haven't had a chance to be able to engage with. And now you get a chance when you start to savor solitude to see what really feels fulfilling to you personally. Beautiful question. I know there are a lot of people out there who are lonely, especially right now because we're in the midst of this pandemic. And so a lot of people are spending time alone. So important to reframe this in your mind right now and letting yourself recognize that you can be alone and not lonely. It's such a powerful and important thing to focus on for the rest of your life, to be able to be alone and not lonely, to not make that be a label that's negative, but to recognize that to be savoring solitude is to be in a space where you're letting the true self of you emerge and to engage with that and to be happy and feel blessed with that, the true part of you. Really great question.